In this video, we'll cover adding text to a project, which I think you'll find super intuitive. When you click the text tool, a text box opens. Also, see how it turns on this text edit bar at the top of the screen? If this bar is here, you'll know that the text tool is active. So let's type, you got this. To deselect the type, click anywhere else on the canvas and look there. You've just added text to your design. Nice work. Now, how about modifying text? Select the text and you'll see four control handles, one at each corner. Each one serves its own purpose. The one here in the upper left, you can probably guess. It deletes text from the canvas in a click. Of course, you can also use the delete on your keyboard to remove text. I'll just undo that. This next handle makes it easy to rotate your text in either direction. If you look up here in the edit bar, you'll notice some of the properties like size, rotate, and position have changed. So this corner activates those fields. By the way, a couple of handy tips here. When you type zero and hit enter, your text lands back at the zero point. And using the arrows will rotate your text in one degree increments. Okay, this handle controls size. And with my click, I've made it active. So we can now see and change properties like font size up here in the edit bar. If you click and drag, notice the size changes in three places, here on the side and bottom of the text, here in the size input fields, and also here in the font size field. And remember, you can also just enter the value you want into any of these fields at any time and use arrows to adjust it point by point. The last control handle here is your secret to keeping text, and objects for that matter, in perfect proportion. The padlock is locked by default, meaning you can change the height and width of the text or object so that when you make it larger or smaller, wider or taller, it scales without distortion. Most of the time, you'll probably want to use this. Otherwise, you might get something like this, which might be cool depending on the look you're going for. When it's exactly the way we want it, just lock it again to lock in those proportions. Oh, one last thing about text. If you want to edit a word or character, just double click the text box to bring up the input field and edit to your heart's content. That's it. 